with you. I'll go toe to toe with you. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the blue corner, Mike, a.k.a. K.O. Mike Trujillo. And that was what we was talking about. He changed his name from the Dragon Hawk to K.O. Mike. And this is the fight that I was looking forward to the most tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you, this is one where you better get your popcorn and your soda in advance because there is no love loss here, and these guys are really going to go for it. Both of these guys are highly skilled. Both of these guys have been training intensely, and these guys have a debt to settle one with the other. They're both sharing wins, but the loss that Trujillo took at the hands of Frierson was brutal. One that embarrassed him for months, maybe even years, because you could see it in his eyes that he wanted redemption tonight. Since they fought twice, I wonder how the strategy is going to be for this fight. But these guys definitely know each other very well. They know the yes. tools that each other had in the backyard. But what new things, what new elements will be at play in, the, in, in, in this fight that's about to unfold? What new tricks, what new uh, skill sets will be displayed? Ladies and gentlemen, as I stated before, don't blink. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining us for the first time, let me give you a little history on this year, uh, on this bout. These guys first met in the backyard, and the result of their first confrontation resulted in Mike Trujillo being KO'd by Alfonso Chocolate Frierson. Later, Mike was able to avenge that loss by making Alfonso Chocolate Frierson quit. Both of these guys feel like they're better than each other, and we're going to see this drama unfold. Now up to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, for our announcer, Bob Alexander. Now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Alfonso Chocolate Frierson. And there goes Chocolate, the man who brutally knocked out Trujillo, which you can watch on Dogfight One right now on Netflix. Ladies and gentlemen, and when you view it, you'll see the horrific outcome of that first encounter. And when you knock somebody out like that, you have so much confidence going into another fight with them, you think you're going to do it again, but you never know. But they had a bout in between in which, in which Chocolate Frierson actually quit after the second round. So I don't think that that was substantial redemption for Trujillo. Trujillo, Trujillo wants actual redemption. He wants revenge from that knockout. He wants a knockout. He wants he a want nobody to quit. He wants a, a knockout like he got knocked out. Indeed. He wants to leave his opponent, his opponent lying in a state of disbelief on the canvas. And you know, and, and the thing about it, how much more would that victory mean here on a big stage in front of millions of those in attendance worldwide? We're live on pay-per-view. These guys are ready to get at it. I mean, Open. It means a lot. Mouthpiece. Cup. Any questions? Good luck. Oh, you don't know how excited I am for this bout. Look at the look of determination. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, our next bout is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureNatural.com. This is a special dogfight trilogy match scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the middleweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with black and white trim. He weighed in at 180.4 pounds. A nine bout MMA veteran from Miami, Florida. Here is Mike, AKA KO Mike Trujillo. Yeah, 
his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 165.4 pounds. He is 10 and 1 in bare knuckle brawls, 1 and 0 in pro boxing, 1 and 0 in MMA. He also hails from Miami, Florida. Here is Alfonso Chocolate Frierson. <laughs> Referee David Braslow with the instructions. All right, guys, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Tom. 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 We have another striker versus boxer. Guys on the line. Foot on, feet on the line. As we take a look Sweet. inside the, the Trigon, Chocolate Friars in 5'9", 165 pounds, 71 inch reach Ready? advantage, age 29. Oh, Trujillo, 5'11", 180 pounds, 70 inch reach advantage, he is 34 years old. Ready? You ready? Let's roll. Wow. It'll be interesting to see how that 15 pound weight advantage plays out in this fight. Guys. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the trilogy, the third installment of these two guys facing off with each other. Stop, Who stop, will stop, have stop, the stop. ultimate Don't punch revenge? Me in the back of the head. Don't, hey, look, look at me. Look at me. Don't punch me in the back of the Chocolate head. Chocolate Frierson, you ready? the black trunks, Trujillo, right. red trunks. And you have Trujillo being warned about not hitting behind the head. And both of these guys establishing their jabs, trying to impose their will. Stop, stop. Back up, back up. Go, fight. They're this very skilled. I can see that already. This ref has got his job cut out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how special is this? These guys started out in the backyard, and now here they are competing to finish the third installment of them, of, of, of them facing each other on the world stage. And both of these guys, confident, Looking for the opportunity to finish this in fantastic fashion. Friar said extremely busy with that left hand. Yeah, he's using that jab. He's using it, trying to get it down the pipe to decept the, the right hand. But both are very skilled in being patient. Hands up, the chins are down, they're tucking it. This is a great matchup, a great third Good job, fight. Good job. Good and going. both of these gentlemen are masters of the Trigon. Both of these gentlemen have a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount of skill. Stop. Wow! 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 Trujillo catches him with a shot, just overwhelms Three, him with shots. Four. Five, the punching power six, of Mike Trujillo seven, has eight. been right? felt. We'll continue. By Alfonso right. Chocolate Fries. Fight. Wow! Trujillo wow. trying to catch him with the uppercut off of the jab, the counter uppercut. And you can hear the thuds from those shots. But the jab is the jab is, is really nice from Frayers. Using as well, and Trujillo is just taking his time, taking his time, going for using a, a, a wow. short jab. Oh, again, Over there, there it goes. Do you think the weight Four, advantage has anything to play? Five, always, six, always with seven with these guys. He's fifteen eight, pound weight advantage. Nine, I don't think he's gonna ten. make it. Wow! Wow! wow. And that what is it. sweet Here's revenge! The stool. Grab the stool. What sweet revenge! And there you have a great sportsmanship displayed by both competitors. The power of Mike K.O. He went back to K.O. New nickname, same results for Trio. Well, you can take him out of backyard and put him in the cage, but you can't take the backyard out of this guy. Wow! What KO punching power displayed by KO Mike Trujillo. I wonder if he is satisfied with this victory. He has to be. He has to be being knocked out and coming back beating him like this and making him quit. You know, hitting him with great shots. Both guys are skilled. I give both a lot of credit. I mean, if Trujillo. You look at the action here. He, it's the upper. It was that right uppercut that kept catching Frierson. That time it was the left hook. hook. The left hook caught him. And Trujillo, the bigger puncher here, 
with 15 pounds of added weight to help him. In, Ready? In, in, guys in the center. Yeah. Good fight, guys. He good won the run. best two out of three. And I wonder, would this be the end of the of, 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 of the, uh, the, rivalry the rivalry? This has to be the end of the rivalry. I, it looks I, to me. It looks to me like the, the, if you look at his face now, Friars, and he doesn't look like he wants any more. Yeah, look at look at KO Mike. Look at the smile. I think the satisfaction has been obtained. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, David Braslow, reaches the count of 10 at two minutes, 30 seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout, Mike, AKA KO Mike Trujillo. Wow. Mike, walk us through this. I know this fight meant so much to you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this was originally started back in the backyard on Dogfight 1, and it's been concluded on Dogfight 2. How do you feel about getting this victory tonight? I'm happy y'all got to go home and tell everybody I lost. That's what I'm happy about. That's what it meant to me. Can I go home? And everybody see me like walking around the streets and I lost to get, you know, that's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I'm happy about. Okay, now, Chocolate, talk to us. What happened inside the Trigon? I mean, shit, uh, them things was heavy, man. <laughs> them things was heavy, you know what I'm saying? He caught me with the uppercut, kind of dazed me. I didn't know who I was for a minute, but, you know, he got me, he caught me slipping, you know what I'm saying? We were to him, he got his revenge, you know what I'm saying? If y'all can't set us up again, this time I'm coming in on weight. You know what I'm saying? Match that power with him. That's all. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to add to this right here. Both of these warriors came in and this fight was highly anticipated. And you both did a great job. And the best man won tonight in the Mighty Trigon. Make some noise for both of these warriors. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what separates BYB Bare Knuckle Action apart from any other organization, apart from any other fight action. Yeah, let's go back and look at the action from, from this fight. Wow. Great, great uppercut, great swinging. Mike Trujillo, the size, he's putting the pressure on. Just too much pressure from Mike Trujillo. That 15 pound weight advantage definitely was a factor in this fight. Yeah, it was a factor, but his skill set is, is great. He has hands up, he used his jab and setting up the, the punches. Wow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, three fights in, and it's already a bloodbath. And Mike Trujillo smiling as he walked out of the cage, happy to get redemption, happy to walk back in his hometown and not be known as the guy who just got knocked out on dogfight.